I remember when I first got to London, I sensed this sort of om omnipotent abundance of options that it presents. For me, having grown up in a very rural place where there's still that abundance, but it's a very different kind of thing. It's almost this like warm, raw, natural version of what a city provides. And when I encountered it in London and New York, when I was younger, I, I would have panic attacks because I was like, I, this is, there's too much going on. There's too much frenetic human city, cold, hard energy. And I carried that with me. And when I first moved here, I, I sort of re reconciled it by like, this is where I'm going to find my dreams. You know, this is where I'm going to make it happen and I'm going to become someone here. And when you are a small fish in a, there are big fish in a small pond and transition to being a small fish in a big pond, you realize, oh, it really is a big pond and everyone's trying to survive. Travel down a thousand highways Just a suitcase and a song like Sinatra I did it my way Though my life ain't been as long I'm still looking for a place Looking for a place to call my own Your own nature gets suppressed And I think that's really the danger If you put in the work to refine what your nature is, then you can show up to a place like London that has so many distractions and lights and events and cocktails to throw at you. You can just really have a strong sense of this is this is my lane. I'm not going to let anyone else's lane influence it. Just close your eyes. Close your eyes and your whole first moved to England and was at university, it was very much based on this point of I need to make myself into something. That's I think how many people view success and view growing up and, and trying to do anything creative or extraordinary or grand with their lives. As you said earlier, I've had a significant amount of ego death and points of what seemed like no return within that journey of trying to become the big thing, whatever the fuck that is. Know that you're not alone. Just close your eyes. Close your eyes and you're home. on this day. Grateful for the ability to to eat and to breathe. Grateful for the ability to spend time with the people I love. I'm grateful for the ability to create, to experience things, such a wide variety of things. Grateful for sunshine when it occurs. Grateful for rain when it occurs. Just grateful to be here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, uh, it's been an interesting few months. I sort of came back to London to see if there was anything here for me and I feel the, the call of the wild now, I suppose. It's the human condition to have restlessness and to always be looking for what's next. There's just this undercurrent of chaos that I feel like I kind of need to still flee from. Because it's for someone who is introverted inherently, but is flexible as an extrovert, which I think I, I have been able to switch that on. Open up the curtains, let 
let the sun shine through Days like this won't last forever It's sad but true But I think the concept of home that I'm trying to build is that it's, it's wherever you're at. It is the present moment, it is your body, it is your soul, it is your conception of yourself. This ain't a perfect story It was never meant to be In a letter to myself This is what I'd say